today we will discuss about the factor that is about the resonance resonance in rlc series circuit so we will draw the circuit first of all here we have resistance in series with inductance and capacitance so this combination is connected across an ac voltage that is v and due to this connection suppose current i flows through the circuit and it is your resistance inductance as well as capacitance so automatically there will be a voltage drop of vr vr across inductance and across capacitance that is vc so a circuit is said to be in resonance in which condition there are two conditions on which a rlc series circuit will be called as a in resonance condition that is first of all voltage and current are in phase as second the net resistance will be zero net resistance that is xl minus xc must be zero so if these two conditions are fulfilled then we call it as a the circuit to be in resonance condition so suppose in this type of circuit first of all find the impedance so z is equal to r plus z xl minus xc okay so we can write it also r plus z xl omega l minus xc 1 by omega c so this is the expression of impedance so in this case what happens in resonance condition the net reactance is zero that means this person xl minus xc that must be zero so that we will get omega l minus 1 by omega c is equal to zero so in resonance condition what happens that is xl when becomes equal to xc at that time we will get it omega l is equal to 1 by omega c so in resonance condition suppose we write it as omega 0 l is equal to 1 by omega 0 c ok so omega 0 square is equal to 1 by l c this expression holds good so thereafter we will take omega 0 that comes as 1 upon root over l c so this is our regional frequency we can write it also 2 pi f0 omega 0 is equal to 2 pi f0 that is equal to 1 by root lc and from this we get f0 is equal to 1 by 2 pi root over lc so this is our regional frequency expression for regional frequency in series rlc circuit that is f0 is equal to 1 by 2 pi root lc so in this condition let us discuss about this resonance in diagram. So if we take the vector diagram of Hatcher diagram, then we will get this suppose this is our VL and this is VC voltage across capacitor and this is our VR voltage across resistor and this is the current as we know that in case of purely resistive circuit what happens the voltage across the resistor is in phase with current that is what we have drawn it as a straight line where VR is in straight line with 
current I that means VR and IR in phase but the other voltages that is voltage across inductor and voltage across capacitor in that case voltage across inductor is equal to voltage across capacitor and they are completely opposite and they cancel with each other so this is all about our hazard diagram or vector diagram so let me explain it once again the resonance phenomenon with the diagram that is variation of frequency with the xl and xc so let me draw the diagram first of all in x axis i am taking the frequency f and in y axis I am drawing the axis or xc. So this is the diagram from where we are getting that the variation of f as well as variation of xc and xc. So how this happens and what how it happens, let us understand it. So when the frequency increases. Suppose the expression we are getting that x n is equal to two pi f n. This is the expression for inductive reactance. Similarly, for inductive capacitance, we are getting the expression one by two pi f c. So in this case, mark that frequency directly proportional to x n. That means if we vary the frequency, similarly the x n will also vary. If we increase the frequency, x will increase. So, when the frequency will increase, then x will increase. So, directly proportional. That is why the graph when I draw, it will comes from the origin. So, this is the variation of x with frequency. As we increase the frequency, x also increases. So, that means that with the lower frequency range, the circuit becomes inductive. Okay, so thereafter, let us see the variation of x with frequency. Here, frequency is inversely proportional to x. So that when you vary the frequency, the x cell has to fall at zero frequency. It was infinite. Thereafter, it comes and in this way, it will decrease and it goes with like that. So this is the curve of variation of x with frequency. So at some points, suppose this is the point where we are getting the x cell is equal to x c, the same frequency we are getting. So in the, this is the point, or this is the frequency which we will call it as a resonant frequency. Resonant. Frequency is the resonant frequency. So, at this expression we have already derived F0 is equal to 1 by 2 pi root over Lc. So, we got this variation. So, thereafter, let us also understand how Z varies. How Z varies with frequency. So, if we draw another diagram of impedance, suppose impedance we are taking in y axis n versus frequency, that means impedance in y axis and frequency in x axis, then the curve line comes like this. The carbon comes like right this. This is the z curve. This is the x c. This is the variation of x c. So this curve z mark this. This when it will comes to the resonant frequency. At that point, the z value is minimum. So due to this minimum, at that time in the series analysis circuit, the current will be maximum. Current will be maximum. 
because z is minimum that is why at resonance condition we get the maximum current due to this it is also called the resonance circuit as the acceptor circuit similarly so that is at the resonant condition what we have already derived that z is equal to z is equal to r plus z xl minus xc but at resonance at resonance at resonance xl minus xc is equal to zero so this person when net reactance becomes zero that means the second term that is this term this term will be zero so we are getting z is equal to r that means what the impedance becomes the resistance that means it acts as a purely resistive circuit so at resonance rlc circuit acts as a purely resistive circuit so thereafter let us take that vr and i so this is uh, we are getting the purely resistive circuit in resonance so that voltage across resistor and current are in phase that was that is why phi is equal to zero that is phase angle between them is zero so cos phi that is our power factor becomes cos zero that is one so this is the condition of power factor at resonance similarly z we are getting this similarly current maximizes or it magnifies at the time of resonance series resonance and another factor is that at resonance at resonance just stand by here yeah. at resonance omega 0 l is equal to 1 by omega 0 c this condition exists due to this equality of inductive reactance with capacitive reactance so in this case if we multiply both the sides with current that means this becomes the expression of voltage drop across inductor that is vr0 so vr0 is equal to here we are getting vc0 that means both the voltages are equal at resonance condition and since the current becomes maximum voltage also becomes maximum so voltage becomes maximum okay so this is all about the resonance thereafter we will go to the bandwidth that is the bandwidth of a signal how what is bandwidth we can explain it thereafter the expression similarly what is quality factor what is selectivity we will discuss one after another so first of all comes to the bandwidth current value will be i0 
डेटा लाइन आई बाय आर ओके सो देन व्हाट इज द बैंडविड्थ द बैंडविड्थ इज डिफाइन एज द रेंज ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी सपोज सर्टेन रेंज ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी इज आर देयर एट बोथ साइड्स ऑफ दिस रेजोनेंस फ्रीक्वेंसी व्हेयर देयर इज the power which is half then that at resonance suppose these are the two points omega 1 and omega 2 these are the two points where the power is half then that at resonance that is why these two frequencies are called as the half power frequencies half power frequency so that means the power becomes at that half power frequency the power becomes 0.707 i0 how this happens so we observe it that according to this definition of bandwidth the power at this half power point suppose at omega 1 the power is i1 square r1 This is I one square R one or R zero R is equal to I zero square R by two. That is the power at resonance I zero square R and the half of that power is equal to I one square R. That becomes I two square R also. So this condition also satisfies the requirement. Suppose by uh, by deleting this r portion in each term i1 square is equal to i0 square q is equal to oh, we are getting here i1 square is equal to i2 square divided by 2 is equal to i2 square i0 square is divided by 2 is equal to i2 square so i1 is equal to i2 is equal to i0 divided by o That comes as point seven zero seven nine zero. So these are the currents, half power currents, which value is point seven zero seven nine zero, which I have mentioned here. Now the bandwidth is which these range of frequency, that is between omega two and omega one. So you can write it bandwidth is equal to W two minus W one. So Let us derive the expression for bandwidth. That is, I is equal to V by R square plus X L minus X C whole square root over. So that comes to V divided by R square plus omega L minus one by omega C square root over. Suppose this is expression one. Now we know that I, that is half power current, is equal to I zero by root two. So this is the half power current. But at resonance, we know that I zero is equal to V by R. And putting this I zero here, we get the half power current, that is I is equal to V by root two R. So what this is the expression two. So by equating these two equations, I and here also I, we get V divided by R square plus omega L minus one by omega C square root over that is equal to V by root two R. Cancelling both sides of V, we obtain. Suppose let me draw here. Let me draw here once again. So cancelling both sides G, we are getting one divided by R square plus omega L minus omega C square root over is equal to one by root two R. So by cross multiplying and squaring, 
we get r square plus omega l minus 1 by omega c square is equal to 2 r square. Okay. So omega l minus 1 by omega c square is equal to r square. Now omega l minus 1 by omega c is equal to plus minus r. Okay. Or omega l minus 1 by omega c plus minus r is equal to 0. Now multiplying each term by omega by l. So omega square 1 upon l c plus minus r omega by l is equal to 0. Now this is the quadratic equation. So its roots becomes omega 1 or 2 roots becomes plus minus r by 2 l plus minus r square by 4 l square minus 1 by plus 1 by l c total. So here if the value of r becomes too small then this term will be neglected. So we get we get omega is equal to plus minus r by 2 l plus minus root over 1 by l c. So that comes to plus minus r by 2 l plus minus 1 by root over lc. So this is what? This is our regional frequency. See the regional frequency. So we can write it omega is equal to plus minus r by 2 L. This is taken as positive so plus omega 0. So from this expression we can get the expression of two half power frequency that is omega 1 is equal to omega 0 minus r by 2 l. Similarly, omega 2 is equal to omega 2 is equal to omega 0 plus r by 2 l. So these are the two expressions from where you can get the bandwidth expression that is bandwidth is equal to omega 2 minus omega 1 that comes to here r by 2 l minus of minus r by 2 l that is equal to r by 2 l plus r by 2 l that is equal to r by l. So this is our expression. Expression the bandwidth. So thereafter let us come to quality factor. What is the quality factor? So, quality factor or it is written as Q factor. What is quality factor? It is actually the physical quantity which describes the sharpness of the resonance. So, it is expressed as Q is equal to resonant frequency by bandwidth. So, we have got already the expression for bandwidth that is R by L. So, that comes as omega 0 L by R. But omega 0 L at the regional condition, omega 0 L is equal to omega 0 C. So we can get also omega 0 C R. So this is one expression for quality factor. Similarly, another expression is also there. So we can write it Q is equal to omega 0. That means 1 by root over L C then R by L. So this comes as 1 upon R root over L divided by C. So this is another expression for quality factor. 
similar signal. That means if the signal is very sharp, then its quality factor is high. But if in the regional curve there is flatness, that is ohmic resistance is high, then the quality factor is low. So we conclude our program. Today we have discussed about regionals. Thank you for watching.